The Project Japan. Maritime transport plays a vital role in global logistics. Many people are involved in carrying out the work. Founded in 1884, Maritime Transport Company Mitsui OSK Lines, or MOL, currently has a fleet of more than 800 vessels linking countries around the world. We explore the global initiatives of one of the industry's leaders in Asia. Indonesia. In this country where economic development is accelerating, energy demand has been on the rise and infrastructure is being built to tap into LNG. To support the government's strategy in creating the clean energy solution in Indonesia, MOL play an active role in terms of developing the sector in LNG transportation and also playing an active role to provide or to procure the FSU and FSRU solution in Indonesia. MOL has been expanding its Floating Storage Regasification Unit, or FSRU, business worldwide. Natural gas, which has been attracting attention as a clean energy source, is transported across the seas in a liquefied form as LNG, which is then converted back to a gas. Utilized in this process are ships equipped with LNG storage and regasification equipment, called FSUs and FSRUs. The key feature of these ships is that it's possible to convert LNG into gas and deliver it on shore without the need for large-scale facilities, significantly reducing costs and the time needed. We visited the Benoa port in Bali. Arriving on this day is MOL's LNG carrier, Triputra, which sails between the many islands of Indonesia. The head of a company that collaborates with MOL in the LNG business in Indonesia expresses his confidence in the operations. MOL is very strict in the all regulation, especially in safety standards. They have very extensive experience in Indonesian LNG business over 10, 30 years. They are also very active in participating in development of LNG logistics, facility of LNG in Indonesia, including LNG carrier, FRU, and FSU. We have to maintain our cargo in good operation. Also for the safety operation, we have to uh, Follow the IMO regulation. Follow the safety regulation. MOL supports the country's energy industry, crucial for economic development. That's grounded on the high level of awareness among employees about putting top priority on safety and the company's know-how built up over the decades. MOL put Indonesia as an important target in developing the clean energy solutions. It's really an honor for me to support the company which have the same corporate value with my personal and also at the same time I could support the Indonesian economic growth here in Indonesia. Manila, the capital of the Philippines. We visited a university about 30 kilometers from the city center. This is a school to train seafarers jointly set up by MOL and Magsaysay Maritime Corporation, one of the biggest providers of maritime crew and crewing services in the Philippines. Many Filipinos are recruited as crew in the maritime transport industry. Their ability to speak English and coordinate responsibilities have made them a top choice among shipping companies, so much so that there's intense competition around the world to hire them. The establishment of MMMA in the Philippines uh, communicates to us the importance of the Philippines in MOL's long-term plans. Uh, MOL is a leader 
in uh, shipping industry, uh, over 100 years old, and they remain to lead and be competitive in the years ahead. A BIMCO report estimates that there would be a shortage of about 150,000 officers, seafaring officers, by the year 2025. And so there will be a continuing need for competent and globally competitive merchant marine officers. MMMA intends to contribute significantly to uh, erasing the level of expertise uh, of our seafarers, as well as contributing to more seafarers in the future. At this university, there's a building with an unusual shape that draws the eyes of visitors. Inside is equipment identical to those used in actual ships, such as engine rooms and steering simulators. Practical training is carried out in this facility, which is considered among the best in the world. I choose to study here at MOL Magsaysay Maritime Academy because uh, as a pioneer batch of this academy, I can say that I venture lots of maritime academies just to find what I'm looking for for this kind of course. But this academy has its edge among others, not just the facility but its system to produce a globally competitive and well-rounded maritime professionals. Uh, our ship in campus was comprised of different simulators and uh, it can stimulate uh, what is really going on board the ship. All students are required to live in the dormitories. Currently, they have about 600 male and female students. As part of my journey in my senior high school, actually, I have a lot of um, tribulations and challenges because when I search for schools that could accept me as a woman, um, only MOL Magsaysay has given me that opportunity or chance to prove myself. Why? Because of the thought that I am a woman. And one thing that for sure, MOL Magsaysay, I have seen that, I have heard from a friend that they could accept women. That's why I invest myself here because they accept my skills and capabilities here. And I could prove myself that I could do what other guys could do. The young people who study at the university will eventually set sail on seas across the world and support the maritime transport industry. They say the reason why they put such emphasis on education is because a high level of awareness and skills are indispensable in carrying out the work of maritime transport. That's something that needs to be shared not just with crew members, but among all employees. We spoke with a staff member of MOL's bulk shipping office in Manila. I keep in mind what will be the outcome of uh, everything that I do because um, I know that I am not representing myself in working but instead I'm representing MOL while I'm working. It is essential to have safety operation in terms that we, we should be aware and we should know every step of what we are doing. like. Uh, we should not be overconfident, although we have, uh, we already have lots of experience in what we do. Also, I think that we should be honest in case that we are not sure of what we do and we should be able to seek help to those who we know that we will be able to help us in case we are not uh, so certain of what will be the outcome of our work. This awareness is shared across borders. Daisy Radona of the Manila office recently participated in a conference held in Tokyo to share their safety initiatives globally. We have been working hand in hand with the uh, Tokyo office and Singapore office. One of the company's strengths is is that it keeps close communication between offices. We often have expats uh, on other offices. Actually, it is uh, required. And through that, we have uh, the connection to the head office. So, and also, apart from that, um, we learn the culture of the company through the expats that they are sending as well. So, I think uh, it's one of the strengths of MOL is 
it constantly strives to uh, achieve uh, good communication between offices as well as it promotes uh, safety as a first priority in its operation. So we have conferences and safety management meetings, which we do on ships and also in offices as well. So I think it's high regard to safety is one of its um, biggest strengths. There's a section at MOL's headquarters in Tokyo that's working to further enhance safety. It's called the Safety Operation Supporting Center. There are so many screens here. What are they showing? These monitors show the current location of MOL ships that are in operation and weather forecasts. We can check the latest location information of all 800 of our company's vessels. The center issues information that we believe may affect ship operations in a timely manner. To mitigate risks, it's always manned by a two-person team 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. One person of that team is a ship captain. By linking offshore and onshore operations, they're able to realize high-quality operations to prevent accidents. Thailand is said to be a hub in the ASEAN region in the field of logistics. It is a major center for various industries, including automobiles. Here, they leverage their more than 100-year track record in maritime transport to expand their logistics business, not just on water, but on land as well. From raw materials and food to cars, electronic products, heavy goods, and dangerous cargo, they handle logistics for an extensive range of demands. MOL is engaged in meeting the demands of countries across Asia. We asked the head of the company about its future prospects. What distinguishes the company in the industry? Typically, in the global maritime transport industry, you'll see many companies operating just one type of ship. You could say they're specialized. In contrast, MOL operates most types of ships, and that makes us very unique around the world. We strongly emphasize what we call one MOL, that we're going to meet the needs of customers as an entire group. We're one of the leading maritime transport companies in Asia, and we take pride in that. If we simply pursue our own established business, we won't be able to tap into demand that's not on our radar. We meet the needs of our customers with a broad range of ships. The source of competitiveness for maritime transport companies is actually people. That's why we say people make a difference. We're going to stand apart from others with our steadfast efforts every day and innovative ideas. Mitsui OSK Lines is a company where all employees work energetically on the high seas around the world. Safe and reliable maritime transport is ensured by people with such high standards.